Hey guys, it is Julian from the room. Uh, just want to say hey, and I'm glad to be back. <clears throat> uh, during this time period, I know I've been out for a while, but I have something important to share. Uh, it's definitely with the blues, the first part of the session, uh, about 15 minute blues, and then the next part will be more about long term trades. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, if you don't use this, invest this news for the news, looking at the two bulls for long term trading, that's very important as well for later. Okay, so it took me a while to actually find a video that explained what I was trying to implement, what I was trying to help people understand because this actually adds the final piece to it okay just bear with me and I will be going slow okay so the main focus is on 15 minute blues and from what I've been noticing that 15 minute blues tend to either go into the orange road of course or how do we know that it's going to touch the top of the purple band and have another blue or even touch the top of the band so that's what I basically managed to do and basically what we're looking for is going to be the cross so let's say this this blue sorry, this blue from this super arrow goes all the way up and it crosses so therefore we confirm that it's going to keep going and touch the top of the band now what we really want to happen is the 15 minute to have a blue and super arrow and if we ever see the one minute cross that means it's going to touch the top of the band okay I'll show you what exactly I mean I do have to find one and these happen more often do you than you think they would. Okay, here's a perfect perfect example. So you have on the UC a blue super pink to the upside and you have it going into prior. You know this is just on the 15 minute just the basis of the 15 minute. If you look at the two minute chart, you see the orange line about to cross the yellow. And when it actually does, right here, so normally what I'll be doing would, would be looking for three pips, four pips, five pips, but I'm looking this for this to go have a solid candle into the orange road, into the golden road. So what I'll be doing right here if I want to take another trade because I believe it's going to hit the top of the bands, I would wait for the two minute, the blue charts to actually have a cross. And that will confirm that it will actually touch the top of the 15 minute band. And I know these works for blues, but as far as everything else, sorry. As far as everything else, they, uh, it could work the same as well. Maybe with the super yellow, I noticed with the super yellow that if it is on the bottom bands, on the very bottom, and it has a cross as well in two minute charts, it will touch the top of the bands. But for right now, I'm just focusing on the blues. And as you see, you have the DX with the green momentum, and then you have the green momentum on the UCAD. And since it, we're mostly biased up, I mean, you can even count the the one hour signals, the four hour signals as well. But because of this 15 minute has this blue super pink, and with this crossing of the two minute charts with green momentum, that is a very good sign that this is going to touch the top of the band. So instead of take or you can take three, take three or put it to the top of the band, 
and let me just show you what happens it crossed and boom up it goes right and that's to the top of the band and as you see it even crossed on the five minute too but that from the 15 minute crossing on two minute it went all the way to the top now let me show you another one because this is very 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 um enlightening because from what i've known that uh benny's video about the crosses it just made me open it made me open my eyes and realize that i can keep a trade in longer and i know exactly what it's going to do so once again we have on the eu we have the blue with the super yellow two great two great um signals and we have the two minute about the cross so we're it's giving us red momentum so we're biased down anyways so if we were already took a three we would be looking f to take another three pips here and if it does cross you know since we're biased we'll be taking it to the bottom band right to the bottom band and as you see it almost crosses goes up hits the band plays around for a little bit goes back up and here there's the cross right here so this cross was huge right here so you know you have your DX flashing green and you have your white signal you have your pink arrow you have your red momentum and your bias down for the blues you're hoping this will cross if it does cross then it'll be a confirmed signal that this is going down to the bottom and I'll show you again and we're waiting and as you see over here the UC actually crosses again it goes up it goes down and crosses again so I mean you have your red arrow giving you more momentum to the upside which is great showing that this 15 minute is going to touch the top like this is not a guess guys this it is going to touch the other band in some way or form from the very bottom is going to touch the very top in some way shape or form on the 15 minute blues so as you see this cross is powerful and down to the floor it goes and yeah to right here that is more than three pips that's a pretty decent amount now let's see something else there's one more I think in here and you see even at the bottom of the bands it goes all the way up Let's see if I can find the other one. I think there's one more. Okay, well, I could have sworn there was another one. But that's all I'm trying to say about the crossing. I mean, even on the. Let's see what this one's about, this blue. Even on the. When the 15 minutes pointed down and you see something like you know like this but the 15 minute is pointing down or even right here on the GU is pointing up and it crossed right here that is a very good sign that is going to keep going and touch the top of the band these are from the 15 minute signals so if there's no signal or anything that that's what I notice I mean 
even whenever it doesn't cross but these are with the blues so the 15 minute blues if it's at the top it's going to be at the top of the or the bottom of the band and if you're going with the blue and it has a cross on the two minute and a blue and super it's going to go down to the bottom band if it is like this if it's down here you have your arrows in blue super arrows and it crosses on the two minute it is going to go touch the top of the band and that is awesome to know that we would win a trade that's going to take us to you know higher pips three five you know as whatever whatever to the bottom band you see it will give you it okay all right now let's get on to the long term That'd be great. Yeah, let's get on to the long term. I would say, I would say, even on the five minute, this you see right here. This is the other one I was talking about. I'm sorry, I found it. Here it is. So, on this EU. I'm not too sure when the blue gets there, but let's see right here. So even right here on this blue, it went up and then it crossed earlier. So that's a comp another confirmation that from this blue and this super pink, since it crossed on the two minute charts, it's gonna touch the top of the band and to get more confirmation we have a signal a 15 minute signal pointing to the upside so that is great to show that some entry point in here will give us enough to get us to the top of the band and once again you can go even further and you have a four hour and a daily point into the upside as well so of course this is just a 15 minute blues but you know you can always get a stronger bias by looking at the long-term signals and since it crossed boom up to the top and that's from this since here's the trend is going up and it crossed on the two minute charts and boom to the top okay I hope that made sense I hope everyone's excited about that because I really am excited about that that right there just opened up my eyes a lot and that's just the final piece to the blues and now it's time to get on long-term trading so long-term trading I, I find found out that it is the same concept as which as friends was saying with the 15 the 5 and the 1 minute so this the 4 hour be the 1 minute the daily would be the five and the weekly will be the 15 so once again we let the 15 minutes steer which way we want to trade and by the five in the one minute or the daily in the four hour we'll find out where to get into trade right so let's say today is the 7th a.m. charts and I'll go all the way to the p.m. charts and I'm just going to talk about the pairs we actually have in the room so it'll be easier so for the UCAD this is the AM charts and this is how I see it and what I look for okay so the UC weekly is pointing to the upside and we have a blue pointing to the upside now with this blue following the same concept as a cross right if this crosses anywhere on the one minute chart we know it's gonna rise so the fact that it's pointing up we're more biased to the upside even though there's a super arrow pointing down we're more biased to the upside okay let's see if this confirms 
with everything else. Let's see if our trade will be correct. So the daily has a super arrow pointing up and then the four hour has a signal super arrow pointing up. So this super arrow pointing down, not necessarily false, but it may not be ready. Let's see what actually happens. And this right here on the four hour charts is where we were and it goes up. So we're aiming to for the cross. It didn't necessarily cross and keep going, but we were aiming for up because we're still trying to hit that cross. Okay, let's see if it plays out again. The UJ, it is the trend is going to the upside, but the last signal we have is down. So we're really looking for an up on the UJ on the weekly. We go to the daily and we have the last signal being down and the four hour last signal being up. So very confused at this time. So we have to go f a little bit further back and we want to go up. We want to go up and we want to go up. The, the trends are up. Four hours up, daily is up and the weekly is up. So if we want to get into a up, we would have to let this drop first and then take it up. With this four hour, it can touch the orange line and bounce up. It can touch this bottom band and bounce up. Or it can touch this orange band and bounce up. Let's see what happens. And see, it actually goes down. So the fact that it was right here and it can go down since we needed to touch the bottom band to take it up, or even this orange band right here. It goes down. It goes down. Now I'm going to explain this again, the UJ on the another part. But here goes the EU. The trend for the weekly is up technically, but it is pointing to the downside. So it's up, but it's pointing to the downside. We have the daily. The last signal is a down, and the trend is pointing down. And you have a four hour going down a super arrow and this cross is strong to the downside so that's confirming that that's why this is pointing down so we're looking for downs we would love to see this cross but for now we're just going with the it's pointing to the downside so we're looking for downs so we would have to wait for this to actually go up first before taking it down because it's on the bb band on the bb band on the bb bands right so of course it will go up first and then we'll be looking for downs once it's at the top of the band. Pretty simple, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, here we go with the GU. The trend is up. Uh, the daily is pointing down and the four hour is down as well. So you have the four hour and the daily trending. You have a four hour signal pointing to the downside. You have the daily pointing to the downside and you have a weekly up. So we can say since the four hour and the daily are down, we can say that this is gonna cross. We can also say that this blue, red, yellow, blue, red, pink, sorry, it's also good that since it was up here and this cross on the four hour or even this daily cross confirms that it will drop even more right and it actually goes up so it goes up first with this signal and then yeah so with this with this red arrow pointing to the upside, I'm sorry. This red arrow and this super arrow pointing to the upside makes it 2-1. So we're looking for ups. Sorry, on the G we're looking for ups because it went into the prior. And that touched the bottom band. Technically that touched the bottom band already. So that would mean they will be going up. And so we'll look for this four hour to touch this band, which is close to and then get in after that and then as you see I touched the band and went up awesome right 
awesome 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 sauce I know y'all understood that I know y'all got it I just know it okay um, this is the last part I believe it's on the UJ huh. here it is okay of course the last part I give you is about the blue the UJ blue this is the November 8th AM chart and here we go according to my strategy on the blues this shall work so we have a four hour blue breaking resistance and we know that blues work especially long terms they really don't go past them too often you know the price doesn't really go past the blue too often so we have a blue and you know it's at the bottom it's at the bottom of the BB band and it is going down but it's pointing to the upside so since this weekly is pointing to the upside and this is on the bottom band and this is has a blue we can take we can look at it as this is going to the upside there's a blue on the four hour that it already had and then there's another blue now when we obviously go forward we have a it bouncing off the BB band and now you have a red signal pointing to the upside so from being down here pointing to the upside get this guys get it this blue almost was about to cross but is at the very bottom it's at the very bottom the daily is pointing to the upside so we're more likely to take it up you know that could be all it can go and then boom you know super yellow of course we don't see the we don't see the super yellow until after the charts but just look what happens it goes up it goes up it goes up let's see if there's any other I'll just explain the last blues and that will be the end of the video if I see any more okay right let's see here okay on the UCAD you have your blue super yellow to the downside and you you want to take it down because it quite didn't go into the orange road and you have your four hour pointing to the upside but it looks like it's about to bounce off the BB band so you can say that it's gonna bounce down the next time and that's what it does so it bounced down it went up and that basically just bounced all the way down I'm sorry was that the right one did I show y'all the right one <laughs> um, this one to this one right this one this one it wants to go down but you have a four hour pointing up so it goes up to the top of the band and then it drops okay that is it I mean here goes another blue on the UJ blue yellow super pink so this is the November 6 a.m. blue yellow super pink pointing to the downside how do we know it's gonna go down or do we think it's gonna go up the weekly is pointing up the daily is pointing up and you had a blue pointing to the downside so for me I would be looking f to take it back up if possible so when this move happened once it came to right here and we seen these these signals from November 6 if we were trying to take this back up the next time we seen them we have a red arrow pointing to the upside and that basically you know that's what we're looking for so we would be able to get in that trade at the next candle or at the the four hour candles come in at one five and nine o'clock 
Uh, that's from MT's room because they 9 o'clock and then 1 and then 5. So 1, 5, 9, those are the times new 4 hours come in. Those are a great time to get into the trade and that's on his clock. That's a great time to get into the trade. And yeah, that is it. I hope that was easy to understand. Um, thank y'all for listening. I know I've been out the room for a while, but I just wanted to share that because that's all I've been thinking about in great videos. Um, definitely great videos. Borg, Benny, Anissa. I rewatched them and it reopened my eyes <laughs> again. So just thank you again. Thank you everyone. Hope y'all love this strategy and see y'all later.